Cause this is forever Uh huh And there will be no surrender What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So today we have John Quirk, um, who has quite a story. And if you are someone who is interested in, to, interested in uh, weight loss and mental health, this is uh, gonna be a really good video for you because um, John has some challenging moments in his life over the last probably like 10 years or so. Yeah. So you're definitely gonna get some good information from this video. So before we get into uh, the, the questions, John is just gonna give you guys a heads up on what he's kind of like briefly gone through over the last 10 years. And then we're gonna get into the questions there. So go ahead whenever you're ready, man. Uh, yeah, my name is John. Um, to some people, I go by BAM. Um, yeah, I started my journey probably, yeah, around 10 years ago. Mm. Um, kind of got to a stage where you see yourself and you're like, okay, I have to start changing my few things in my life, change my lifestyle. Um, we were looking at gym opened up in the village, so I said this is a perfect time to kind of start going at it. So yeah. trained for close to five or six years, and a uh, few things as it came up. Uh, my dad passed away, and um, a year later my sister passed away, and then in between, kind of back, even before all them, we were kind of back and forward. You go through phases of training like grand like step away for a while go back again yeah. see a few things like that um yeah when I, when I first started training it was like it's well over it was kind of in around 22 stone and that's the kind of time I was like right yeah, cop on true. kind of give my give myself to kick up the hole like yeah. grand right you have to sort your life out well yeah you, yeah what yeah. way of doing it just eating the whole time, drinking the whole time. A bit as because I've always worked in hospitality. You were just in that environment. Just in the environment, it's like you could, be, you could finish work, a few people there, the grand, I won't go home, I'll sit in with the lads. Yeah. Right? Go over to the chip shop rather than going home and making yourself a decent meal. Yeah. And over the year, over from being kind of 17, 18, you know, for four or five years, it goes up obviously and you get heavy. And yeah, obviously we spoke off camera there as well. So like that kind of like whole environment, what led you down that path? Was it a typical kind of like finish school, drink, fast food, and it just led to- Yeah, because um, uh, with school, I done LCA. So you have to do some sort of work experience. Yeah. And so the pub in the village said, it's just handy, I'll go up there and I'll do it. Yeah. For my two weeks work experience, done my work experience there. I never left. That's mad. And I done my two weeks and I was like, oh, there's a few hours there at the weekend if you want them when you're not in school. I was like, yeah, and finish, finish school, then like, whatever, 17, 18. I was like, you can work there if you want it. And I was like, yeah, and I've been stuck behind the counter pulling planes ever since. At least you was, was, 13 years. Yeah, at least you still uh, had the job as well because obviously a lot of people have yeah. been extremely challenged over the last 10 years for, mm. for out of. Uh, 2008 to where we are now it's just crazy yeah. but um you said you reached 22 stone yeah, was it there thereabouts yeah and then you said that, like there was a moment where you seen a photo of yourself and yeah. was that a and i know what you mean by that sometimes it, it you can mm. only realize who you are or mm. in something that you say when you actually see it or if someone's shown you something yeah it's that moment that you go jesus that's what i'm like mm. or something like that and that was yeah. what happened to you yeah it's kind of like I've never, uh, obviously you see yourself losing weight, obviously you jump on the scales and stuff, it's like grand. Then when when people go up to you and it's like, geez, you look good, fair play to you and all, it's like grand. Then obviously on Instagram and Facebook and stuff, you get these memory things that pop up every yes, so often. And yeah, yeah. saying there was a picture popped up from around the time my 21st, a few of us were over in Manchester for a weekend. You see a picture of me in a shirt and it's like, God, I was massive. It just hit you then. Yeah. Like, yeah. And at least you were able to... And even with like, with work, you're, you're always wearing like jeans and slacks and stuff. And then see like the way it says the word, what it is now. And it's like, do they've accomplished something like... Yeah, it yeah. makes you it makes you proud and happy of what you've done. Yeah, you're an example now yeah. to help other people. I'd like to think so. So, oh, definitely. So, mm. uh, we'll actually put up some photos of like before and after and stuff like that. Yeah. So, just to see, like, show people what mm. you have achieved. And when you actually realized that you needed to change, like you've seen that photo, did you go, right, 
I'm so determined in my own head, I don't need help? Or did you go, right, I need to get professional help from someone who's skilled in helping Oh, I think it? so, yeah. yeah. Like, um, as I say, growing up, I've always played, would have been relatively active playing team sports and stuff. Yeah. And then, but then when it gets to the stage, like, I wouldn't have been overly educated on, right, what's the, the right food, I suppose. It yes, might be yes. the wrong way of saying it, but like, what foods will help me? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. obviously with, like, you're not going to go to the gym for an hour and then call into a chip shop on your way home. Like, exactly. this, you're defeating the purpose, I suppose. Exactly, yeah. So. You needed to get educated on yeah, what more, it was more, it and the yeah. Kind of stuff. Yeah, and then obviously the nutrition side of it and, yeah. So yeah, so as a train, like I went through obviously went through phases. To train I went with the first kind of three or four years, I was into it. Yeah, I was doing like uh, classes, CrossFit classes and stuff. Yeah, and then do my own bit of walking and running and cycling, and kind of got away from it for a while. And then um, went to Australia. in between then and now, I was in Australia for eight months. And then obviously it was kind of after my dad and sister passing. So I, while I was in Australia, it was kind of hard being away. Yeah. And then obviously I, I stayed in the hospitality industry out there. So similar lifestyle, eating bad, drinking, late nights out. Yeah, yeah. And, and like when, when like you, you're through this, you're going through this journey, okay, of trying to improve yourself. Mm. And then suddenly your dad passes away. And then a year later, your sister passes away. Was that a, right, okay, I want to kind of like give up kind of moment or did this actually give you strength to be more of a person? Like, at the time, it was like, I wouldn't say give up. When things like this happen, kind of, there's a lot going on in the head. It's yeah, like, yeah. Jeez, how, why, why has this happened? Why is it me? This kind of stuff. And then life gets hard. And then after a while, it's like, Kids have to be strong. I have another sister, and mom. They come and have to be strong. Put on the brave face. Yeah. Just get back at it. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, it took time. It wasn't easy. Yeah, and like you're, you're also like big into mental health. So like, with them challenges, did you need help? Did you ask for help? Did you feel like you needed to talk to people, mm. or was it I like bottled up inside you? For what's what? A bit of it was bottled up. Yeah. Like I never got professional help but then yeah. I was lucky to have a good group of friends around me other family members like yeah. just sit down with them you mightn't even have to talk about that but just just have a general chit chat with somebody yeah, yeah. yeah. and just yeah. just relieve you don't have, oh, I know exactly what, what you mean like, yeah. the, the negative things are kind of they're, they're gone for a while yeah yeah exactly yeah, and you just and then, like even to this day it comes back yeah every so often like right might ring or text one of the lads, like, are you up for a chat? Yeah, yeah. I mightn't talk about how I feel, but yeah. just meet up, have a coffee, yeah. and just go for a walk, just yeah. general, just have a general chat and feel good after it. Yeah. And, and I think that's highly important because like people just literally sitting down and talking to someone, it could be about your problem or it could mm. just be taking your mind off of the problem. Yeah. It's sometimes just so refreshing, yeah. and it can give you different thought of what the problem you were you were yeah. like facing anyway. But um, what advice could you uh, give to someone like when they they're deciding, say they're watching this video as well, and they're kind of like, right, okay, this has inspired me to I need to make this change. Um, what challenges did you come across? Um, you know, when you decided, right, okay, I'm going to change the way, I'm going to lose this weight, I'm going to become fitter, I'm going to become mm -hmm. healthier. Sure. But, Basically, just just go do it, but then it's not easy. Yeah, 100%. I'm not going to sit here and say, "Oh, you're going to you're going to go to the gym now, and it's going to be fucking easy." Yeah, it's not. It's going to be like a, you're, you're going to get years or yeah. something. Like, like you're going to get to a barbell and you might only lift twenty kilos. Yeah, yeah. You get on a treadmill, you might only have to be able to walk for a while. Yeah, but as time goes by, that bar gets heavier. That yeah. walk turns into a light jog. Yeah. And, uh, it's eventually going to become a sprint. Yeah. You're, going to, you're going to be able to do it. Like if you, if, you, if you keep doing it, it, it gets easier. Like there's no point it's going. It's like okay, they can lift 20 kilos. No, I'm sorry, I'm not over here again. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's not going to work. Yeah, it's yeah. not going to work. Yeah, and I think like a lot of people, I uh, think 
a lot of people like these days because everything is like so fast paced in the world yeah that if you are looking to change your body you know, or anything or your mindset like yeah. what i've learned is that if you are doing trying to say oh, okay i'm going to do this in six weeks it's not going to happen yeah like for me i look at what i've learned in either building a brand or trying to get in my best shape is that I look at everything in like five years now. Mm. If I want to achieve that, it's probably going to take me mm. five years to achieve that. Yeah. Because if it's worth having, it's going to take probably years to mm. achieve it. So it's the same thing with your thing. Like you've take, it's taken years for you to yeah. get rid of that weight and stuff like mm. that to feel better about yourself. So what kind of like advice could you give to the challenges that you faced in like literally deciding to improve yourself to then you went to Australia as mm. well to your your dad passed away your sister passed mm. away pandemic yeah you know out of work for a while like sometimes life can literally just like be a constant slap in the face literally yeah how did you get through that mentally that you could give someone else advice as mm. well to just get through their moments so I say just having the right people around you and um, um as I said you everybody has their goals in life like everybody but well, i think we all have one common goal and is to be happy yeah true whether it's people work to be happy people work to obviously maybe eventually build a house buy a house yeah people have goals in the gym people have just yeah, like yourself you've you've a goal you have a successful business mm. Mm. um and there will always be slip-ups in between 100%. 100%. 100%. but then the, uh don't give up. Yeah, that's the probably the biggest thing I could say. Don't give up. And the, the, it you, you might get a month where you might even if you for a person that maybe trains, pick up an injury. Jeez, you're done. You might, so you might say to yourself, oh, "I'm done now." Like you're not. You'll yeah. come back eventually. Yeah. yeah. Same with people that maybe work on a building site. As you work might dry up, so yeah. it'll pick up again. Yeah. Yeah. And, and as it, you were saying, like now, obviously, wish. Everything that's going on in the world, business will slows down. But mm. It'll eventually come back. Yeah, yeah. And I think people that whole kind of like just don't give up. Like mm. people think, oh yeah, whatever, don't give up. No, it's mm. it's literally that simple. The people yeah. who get to the top one percent in the world, yeah, they're the people who mm. faced absolutely every challenge and mm. failure after failure after failure, of hardship and hardship. But they just get around it and they keep yeah. moving forward. And that's literally all it takes. Is mm. just the people who become successful is the people who took on so many challenges mm. and said no matter mm. how many more keep coming my way yeah i'm gonna keep going because like i've had moments and days where i'm just like i just want to pack up everything i just want to quit I, mm. I don't want to train i don't want to build a brand anymore i don't want to do any of this and you know you're mm. just waiting for an opportunity to happen and you don't you leave mm. it another day yeah. of keeping things open and then the next day i could get a phone call a nice order comes in you know, mm. and you get it gives you that confidence to keep things going again. Yeah. So it is literally that important. Just don't give up mm. and get through. Sure, it's like uh, what your brand stands for. Mm. Face your fears. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And then you'll you'll accomplish something. Yeah. Exactly. Simple. Exactly. You find a lot about yourself when you literally do face your fears. Yeah. Like so. That's what I've learned. I'm doing all this purely because of mm. these three words as well. Yeah. So. Yeah, um, geez, that went quick actually. Do you need to say, do you feel like you want to say anything else to help anyone else out, or do you feel you've covered everything? I feel like you've probably covered most of it, but then, as I said, just if you feel like you have to go do it, go do it. Yeah, yeah. Nobody's going to, people will judge what you do, or positive, negative. Just go do it. If you think you need to do it, just go do it. Yeah. Simple as that. Yeah, and that's why I always say this part is like, if you if there's someone else out here who's looking to change themselves in where the situation that they're mm. in at the moment you're going to be judged if you stay where you are now yeah and then you're going to be judged if you make changes mm. in who you are so go do what you want to do because you're yeah. going to be judged either way yeah 100 so, it's just the way it is but uh yeah no really good interview hopefully it's uh helped some people out in encouraging them encouraging them to uh keep going and keep mm. uh, battling their way through these challenges and stuff like that because if you can do it then someone else can do do it as well so uh, yeah guys if you have any other questions uh let me know and uh who knows maybe back with another interview in the future as well and uh please hit that like button please also hit that subscribe button it will help get these stories out there to other people as well so uh, other than that thanks again for watching thanks again for coming on man and uh we'll be back with another video soon see you guys